Hi guys, welcome back to Code Switch. AES stands for Advanced Encryption Standard and it is also called a Symmetry Key Encryption. Let's see why it is called. So, if you have a file, suppose if you have a file and if you want to encrypt it, you use a password, right? Within the password, you encrypt the file. Now, now you have the encrypted file. Now, if you want to decrypt the file, you use the same password, right? Use the same password and you get back the file. So, here we are using the same password for encryption and decryption. That is why it is called a symmetric key encryption. Okay, so let's move into the initial setup. Suppose you have a file in this location that is C demo. This is my location. Suppose you have a file. So I'm going to create a new file. Okay, I'm naming the file as document. This is a file that I need to protect. I am opening the file and I'm putting something that I do not want to share with anyone other. Yeah, this is a secret file. I'm going to save this file. Okay, so you want to encrypt this file using AES encryption that is advanced Stan encryption standard. Now what you can do is you can copy the file name that is cdemo document.txt. This is the document that I need to encrypt. Go to Visual Studio. So I have a project over here. This is a console application in .NET 5. Open the program.cs and on the main, let's define a variable to store the file location. So I'm naming the variable file path and I'm putting the location. Okay, so now we have the file we need to encrypt. Now, in order to do that encryption and decryption part, we need to depend on a library. So let's go to your project, right click over there, go to NuGet packages. On the NuGet packages, you can search for twiloop.express security. That's the library we want to reach. Yeah, click on the library and click on install. Okay, now it seems our library is installed. Now close the NuGet package manager, go to your project and add the reference. Yeah, that's all about the setup. All right, now we have added the library and we have the location. Now let's do an AES encryption. Okay, so in order to do the AES encryption, let's call the library in express encryption, then call the AES class, and then you can call AES encrypt function. So into the encrypt function, you need to pass the file path and a password. So whatever the password we are used for encryption need to be same for decryption as well, because it's a symmetric key encryption. So now you can see that I have provided password at 123. Now let's save the file and run the program. Okay, the program is running and debugger hit. Let's step in. Okay, now something has been happened. Let's go back to the folder. Okay. Now here you can see our original file document.txt. Yeah, this is our original file. And there you can see another file called document.txt.aes. It's an AES file. Let's open it. See, it's completely encrypted. You cannot read this. Now if you want to send this encrypted file to a friend and he want to decrypt it. So suppose you are sending this AES file to your friend. So suppose I am deleting this original file. Now you have only this. Now how can you decrypt back the text? How can you decrypt this file? So for that go to your Visual Studio, change the AES encryption to AES decryption and in the AES encrypt function you can change it back to AES decrypt function. So before that let's put the file name as .aes because that is the AES file we have generated. We are using the same password because AES is a symmetric password encryption. Now run the project. Okay, debugger hit, step in. Yeah, now we are doing the decryption part. Looks like it's done. Go to the file manager. Now here you can see there is a decrypted file generated. If you look at the type of the file, it's a decrypted file. Now what you need to do is right click, go to rename and remove the AES and decrypted part. 
optionally you can put a extension if the file already didn't come with extension but if it already have an extension no need to do that now let's open the file and there we go whatever we encrypted is now over there